So we have officially moved in to our new flat in London and I am so excited, I'm so happy. This vlog is just going to be basically us showing you little bits of us moving into the flat. Um, True spent the morning doing all the spices because the kitchen is True's room. He loves the kitchen so that's what he was most excited for. So he spent the morning um, filling up the spice jars and labelling them with this really cool labeler from amazon which i think i'm going to start using for my skincare stuff um i'll leave a link down below for the spice jars and the label thing machine that he used and then i'm also going to include a couple of clips um of bits i did last week so last week i moved in some of my shoes and bags so i'll just put in a time lapse of me putting that in because it's quite satisfying to watch Okay, so I've just unpacked the two suitcases I had filled with bags and shoes. So this is the current situation. I still have more shoes that I have to put in, but I didn't manage to bring them all. Um, as I said, we've been doing them in like batches. So this is today's batch. I still need to bring some more of my shoes and of course more of my handbags. But I love how much space I have compared to the wardrobe at home. This is so big which means i can display all of my shoes because i think if you guys remember the last um wardrobe video i did i had to kind of sacrifice some shoes to be hidden which actually is not a good idea because then i forget i have them and then when it comes to styling i don't have like i don't consider those as, as an option so it's so nice to be able to see all of my shoes um 
I think once I have all of my shoes and I'll be able to organize it properly because as you can see I'm kind of going in rows so like black then silver nudes then whites and then this is blues but I don't know if I have any more blue shoes to add I don't think so so then I kind of need to figure out the blues for here if not and then or maybe move the green up but I kind of like that this has a green row so whatever like sh maybe the orange can go there because I don't have many orange shoes but yeah I'm going to figure that out properly once I have all of my shoes and I can organize it how I like and then this is the bag situation so what's really good about this is that they have a bigger slot at the top so it means I can fit my Hermes bags because for my last wardrobe I didn't have space to fit some of my Hermes so I'm fitting the bigger bags like the Fendi and the Hermes. Also, I'm considering selling this. Once I've unpacked everything, I'm actually going to do a big sell of some of my luxury shoes and bags because a lot of things that I don't wear anymore and they're kind of like wasting away here. So not here, they just got here. Um, there's some bags and shoes that I don't really use and I feel like I should sell and then I can buy things that I actually would like to use. So I think once I've organized my wardrobe, I'll probably put in another vlog that um, I'm gonna sell some of my stuff and then I'll let you guys know where I'm selling it. I'm thinking, let me know what you guys think, but I'm thinking eBay just because I actually worked with eBay on their authentication program um, once they, when they announced that they were authenticating luxury bags. And I think that's a really good platform because um, it's easy to sell on there and they authenticate every bag sold over 500 pounds. It automatically goes to them. I got to meet their authentication team and they are so thorough with their processes like if there's a doubt of authentication they will return the bag to the seller so it seems for me the most likely one that i'm going to choose to sell my bags but let me know if there are any other options that you guys think i should do like where i should sell my bags but yeah so these are some of my bags obviously not all of them because this is looking very empty um but yeah i'm really excited this is what it's looking like so far and I can't wait to see it once it's all filled up and then it'll give me an excuse to buy some more shoes and bags to fill it up even more. But yeah, we have basically moved most, most of our stuff from my family home now into our new flat. So it's all about kind of prepping the flat and getting get ready to live in here. Things have been a bit busy and crazy recently because I've just been traveling. So I just got back from Monaco two days ago. Um, so I feel like this month, I don't have any other travel plans for June. So hopefully we can just kind of spend the month prepping for our flat. I'm gonna show you a bit, a piece of furniture we actually bought. This is actually the first piece of furniture that we brought into the flat. I ordered this on Venteria and I really wanted this black lounge chair and I'm obsessed with it. It's so comfy to sit on. I think we're gonna get it reupholstered though because it is a vintage piece and the leather does look worn and there's bits coming out. So that's the plan to kind of get it reupholstered um, but we're not in a rush to do that now because it is still, it looks good. We actually did order a sofa, which was supposed to be coming next month. But then I got an email to say it got cancelled because we bought it from, I think it's a Swedish brand. And apparently the sofa doesn't meet the UK fire regulations. So they cancelled the order, which is annoying because now I'm on the hunt for another sofa. Which has taken me so long to find the right kind of sofa. Tomorrow we have our delivery of our dining table. I bought this amazing vintage marble dining table. I'll show you guys when it comes. I'm really excited for that, so that's coming tomorrow. So right now we're about to go to John Lewis to get some little bits. We made a list of things we need. So we need a toaster, a kettle, what else? Like other small bits. Other small bits. How happy are you to be in this flat? Very happy. I love the space, it's massive. Yeah. And the kitchen is fully mine, 100% mine, <laughs> my kitchen. Yeah, like I literally, I'm just letting true, like, I don't even do anything to the kitchen. I'm like, let's just go in there. I'm just gonna pick the toaster and the kettle. I wanna go for like a stainless steel vibe, but True is literally in charge of the kitchen. He stocked up the fridge. Oh, you would have seen. This is like Vogue. Um, <laughs> welcome this, to my Welcome kitchen. to my fridge. So, as you've seen this morning, I added this oh. rotating table thing so you can access all of your um, condiments. Jar, condiments, jars, and all that stuff. It saves a lot of space. I've got a spare one down here. Um, I, need, I need to see what to put down there. And then what I've been doing recently is washing all my fruits and putting it in these mason jars. It's just very convenient, quick to eat. And obviously down here is the main attraction for <laughs> the guests. Yeah, it's for the guests, but do you but know how many times I have to tell True like to stop? He gets himself a drink with every meal and I'm like, you know, you can just have water. You know what I want to get? Like those ones, 
organizer is where the drink comes forward. forward. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to organize it. And then in here. In here, I've got still water, sparkling water. We just want to be the best host, so when people come round, we can offer them a nice drink selection. Like that was always my dream. It's so weird, but to have a fridge stocked up with nice drinks so so yeah um, i think i did mention in the last vlog that i won't be all oh, look you can see ourselves in the mirror um i did mention in the last vlog that we won't be doing like an official apartment tour but you will see bits of the vlog vlog you will see bits of the flat as we're walking by doing bits putting things in so yeah that's the plan let's go now it's such a nice day in london oh should we do unboxing this actually came like two weeks ago but i'm saving it to unbox it for the vlog. True wouldn't let me open it. He said we have to save it for the vlog, so. I think it's a vase that I ordered. Ooh. Oh wow, it's massive. Oh, I love it! So guys, I ordered a marble plinth and the plan is that that's gonna go on top of the marble plinth and then I'm gonna get some stems coming out of it. This is massive. I love it. Put it in that corner, let's see how like, oh. So it's going to be like... Yeah, it's going to be elevated by the marble plinth. The plinth is here. Yeah, and then we have stems coming out. Ooh. Very cool. Yeah, that's so nice. Look at the details on it. So, so nice. Okay. Also, let me unbox my candle. Let me bring it in. Okay, so August and Piers kindly sent me this candle, which I have been like dreaming of for this place. It's a very big candle. If you don't know August and Piers, you should check them out because they're a really, really great candle brand. Um, they're stocked in Harrods and I think Liberty or Selfridges. Um, but they have an Instagram on their candles. Smell amazing and they're so aesthetic for your home. And I'm so happy to have this. Oh my God, you can smell it already. It's nice. It's um, cedarwood, well, I don't know how to pronounce that, guayac, guayac wood and provocative patchouli. And it's a ceramic. Look at this. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Wait, guys, look how stunning this is. It smells so good. Should we put it in the fireplace? Yep. Oh my God, this is solid. Oh, I can't wait. I don't, I don't, don't think I actually ever want to burn it. But the good thing with this is that once you've actually burnt the candle, you have a vase. Yeah. So it's That's so cool. it's so nice. If all days brown eyes roots in my apartment, we grew by plans were always falling. I know you need out sometimes, head on the glass by traffic lights. Thoughts never felt so blind, so we take off in a maze and die. Driving circles from us. We're in Peter Jones looking for some furniture. Oh, not furniture, tableware. True, you look like you're done. Mm -hmm. You look you're done like your shirt is done. <laughs> um, we're looking for cutlery. Found the cutlery. showing people how to upcycling the empty yeah. candle jar so when you got the tiny little bit there and then you just blow it off and you can just take out the wax with boiling water yeah or you can put the whole thing in the freezer for half yeah. an hour and it will come out, will come out amazing so what should we get through what were the options again so you had mint yeah uh, salvia, salvia and then you had succulent oh should we do mint? Yeah, then we let's can, get mint. We yeah, can use it. Yeah, can we do Yeah, we can use it in the kitchen. Yes. Yes. Amazing, thank you. This is so cute. Oh, I'm just I'm vlogging now. I love it. So of course they're gonna upcycle these jars. I was just admiring the one inside until he I was showing you the mint one and saying that's a good idea. Oh, 
Oh, we have some in the back as well. Oh, okay. Oh, but this is so cute. Have mint tea tonight. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cute. It's a good day to come to Diptyque. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. You too. So I think if you spend over a hundred pounds, you get to pick a plant. And so we did the mint because we love mint tea. Also, I'm obsessed with this. It smells so fresh. This store is so nice. We've stopped for a drink at Raw Press, which is just opposite the Diptyque store. I picked out a drink for True. I thought this would be quite refreshing. Let's read what's in it. It's on the side. Oh, cucumber, celery, broccoli, kale, spinach, lemon, ginger. Very healthy. What'd you get? So I ordered a, a matcha latte, but I actually. I don't know why I just assumed it would be ice because in my head I knew I wanted the ice one but then she just put it in a cup of ice for me so an ice matcha, la ice matcha latte with cashew Do you get syrup? Yes, yeah, so it's like they say they mix a vanilla essence with maple syrup Oh, fancy It's, it's lukewarm because <laughs> it was hot and it's been melted so I need to wait for it to melt So we just got back from shopping and picked up a couple of bits. I thought I'd do a little unboxing haul. This is very random stuff, very home homeware, um, which is so weird because I never do home stuff hauls. But now I have a new place. You'll probably be seeing lots more of that. But it was so hot outside. I literally got back into the flat. Had to have a cold shower because I was just too too hot. We actually on the way to Peter Jones walked into this antique shop on Kings Road and found some potential dining chairs. Basically, I was hesitant because with vintage furniture, you can't, like often you can't return it and we're getting our table delivered tomorrow. And the only issue with that is that if it doesn't fit with the table, um, I can't return them and they're quite expensive. So the guy said, if we pay for them today, we'll collect them tomorrow. And if they don't fit, we can return them because he can sell them anyway, like they're very popular. Um, the brand is called, they're like really like, I see dupes of these chairs everywhere. Like a lot of furniture stores take inspo from this designer. So they're the Danish Carl Hansen chairs. Um, and the price was 1,400 for four chairs, but normally like each chair is around 800 pounds or like a thousand pounds for one chair. So I thought that was a bargain. They're original Carl Hansen chairs. They've got the stamp on the bottom. So yeah, just need to see if they fit with the marble table and if they fit with the overall vibe of the place. Um, and they have some other cool bits there. Then the John Lewis haul. So quite boring, but we got this cutlery set. This is the, the range is called the Ellipse. It's made from a solid stainless steel and it's very heavy. That's what I liked about this uh, cutlery set is that they're, the knives and forks are very weighty. And it makes a difference when you have good quality cutlery. So we've got the six piece set. These stainless steel spoons, but they're very, very weighty. And this is the design of them. If you even care about that, it's so random. And then, oh, do you know what we need to get? The um, cutlery separator. So like you could, the cutlery tray so we can put knives, forks and everything like that. Then we also picked up teaspoons from the same range because it doesn't come in that set. And then we wanted a salad tonight for dinner and realized we don't have a salad bowl. So we picked up this salad bowl, which I really like. It's this dark wood um, fusion salad bowl. I don't say what it is, but it's just this wood with this like ridged edge, which I really like. I also love this dark wood colour. Um, so that's what we got from there. And then the matching salad. What are these called? Mixers? Salad spoons? Yeah, salad spoons, right? The main reason why I wanted to go out, that was more so like true. He wanted to go and get these stuff. I wanted to go to Diptyque because I want to have Diptyque soaps in my bathroom. So we have two bathrooms. We have an ensuite and then the main bathroom. Um, and I really want Diptyque soaps in that because I just love the aesthetics of Diptyque. So I'll show you what I picked up. I actually tested out the soaps. So um, in the, the Diptyque store in Sloan Street is really nice. Um, it gives so much home inspo. If you've just moved to a new place and you just want home inspo, definitely check out Diptyque on Stone Street because the aesthetics are really nice. They have a sink there, so I asked if I could use 
the soap so I could try out because they have an exfoliating soap and then a normal soap and then the hand cream so I wanted to test it out and I did and it was really nice smells really good but to be honest it's the bottle that I really liked and they're good because you can actually buy refillable pouches um, to fill the soap so when you run out you don't have to obviously buy a new sticky glass soap dispenser you have it already you just need to fill it up so, so I picked up two of these so one in each bathroom this is the emulsion so I think that's why it's got the letter E very nice and then that's just the other hand lotion and then, oh this is heavy so this one is the exfoliating hand wash so you can see there's little beads in there it does feel really nice it does feel like it's giving your hands a good exfoliation so I picked up one of those and then this is the softening hand wash. One bathroom you have the hand wash and soap and the other one you have the exfoliating hand wash and soap. I just really love their bottles. And then I picked up this candle which is the La Droguery. It's an odour removing candle with basil so this is really good for the kitchen. They're like, I feel like they have a kitchen range, this is part of their like kitchen range so this is the candle it smells very herbal basil and this actually eliminates the odor rather rather than masking the smell of it so this is good for my cooking we can just light this um because the kitchen and living room are like it's an open plan so the kitchen leads into the living room so it'll be nice to have this to light when we are cooking and then just today they especially had this thing where if you spend over 100 pounds you could pick a plant and they put it in the recyclable, um, so one of their old jars. So they're just showing you how you re you can repurpose their jars. And um, I think everyone knows, like most people know, but did keep, a lot of people do keep their jars and they use them for like cotton pads or cotton buds because they, they are really aesthetic and they've got this really nice thick glass. Um, so we picked mint because we love mint and we thought we could make a mint tea and it'd be nice to have in our kitchen. So this is what we want. Mm, it's English mint and it's so fragrant. I'm actually going to make a tea with that today. And yeah, so that is everything that I picked up today. I think a lot of the other things, um, I wanted to get like a stainless steel kettle and toaster from Smeg, but I think I'll order those online because I didn't want to carry too much. But also John Lewis didn't have those in stock. They only had the other colours. They didn't have the stainless steel ones. And then we need to get a coffee machine and other bits. But I think I'll just do a big online order because they're heavy things. So it's easier to just get them delivered. But yeah, that's it. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna make dinner. I'll probably vlog that. We can do a little time lapse of me making dinner for once. Normally it's true that's cooking. Um, yeah, we're gonna have dinner and just have a chill night and get ready for our table delivery tomorrow. So guys, it's the next day. And as you can see, we have the table and the chairs. And I think I'm in love. I really love this table. The legs is what sold it for me. I've been looking for an oval, like this kind of shaped marble table ever since we moved here not actually ever since we actually secured the place i had a vision and i really really love it and i think the chairs go really well with it so i wanted to incorporate some wood into the living room area um but it's nice with the black leather because then it matches the black fireplace and it just ties everything in and this also means now i think i'll probably get like a a wood uh coffee table in the same kind of shade because then it will um kind of tie everything together but yeah this is what it looks like these are the legs it was such such a big job to bring these up so you have to bring each leg up separately in the table and there were four guys including true and his dad um and they were literally like sweating it's a very hefty job like we can't basically where it is now if he even wanted to move it a little like an inch that way we'd need to bring in a whole team because it's super heavy um, and I think the chairs go really well. So these are the chairs that we saw in the antique shop yesterday. And I actually think it looks amazing. So yeah, I'm really happy. Now we just need to find a sofa. We're also going to replace this mirror. I actually think a black mirror, like a thin um, uh, border, like a black thin border. But I Maybe like how it is because I think black's going to be too much. Clash. But yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about gold. Yeah. Like, obviously we need a bigger mirror because I think this mirror is too yeah. small, but... The black would be too blocky with this black fireplace. Yeah, so we need to think about 
the mirror situation. But yeah, we finally have a kitchen table, which I'm so happy about. I think it's stunning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what kind of things you'd like to see. Um, it would be really useful if you could comment and let me know what you'd like to see in terms of like home stuff, what you find interesting, because I have no idea. Obviously, I've never done something like this before, so it'd be good to know. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely evening or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.